First thing I'm going to do is start off by priming and moisturizing my skin to get it ready for makeup. You guys know this routine. If you have seen any of my other makeup videos, you know this is the first thing I do. Um, also, yeah, let me let you guys know. <laughs> Today's video, I was filming and talking. I was talking to my best friend. I was talking to my sister and then my husband came in the room. So this is gonna be like a super chatty video, but I was not talking to you guys. <laughs> I was doing my makeup, but I was I was talking and talking to everyone but you guys. But anyway, um, so go ahead and get it started. Don't forget to look down in the description bar. I'm gonna list every single product that I'm gonna use on my face down there, so check it out. Starting off with my foundation, I am gonna use a Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Um, that is my favorite foundation, and this is my favorite sponge. I picked this sponge up at Walmart, and it just really, really helps smooth out all the foundation and get it where it needs to go. I'm a camera so now I'm gonna go ahead and conceal. I'm now using the new Milani foundation and conceal. It's like a two-in-one, and I love the way it looks underneath my eyes. I'm a camera like my favorite part to blend everything out I was just chatting I'm so sorry guys I'm a camera girl, camera girl, girl. my husband and I was going out on a date this night so we were pretty pumped and excited about getting out of the house I you know enjoy makeup a whole lot you guys already know that if I can turn my whole channel into beauty I really really would that's how much I really I can bathe myself in makeup. <laughs> Banana Ben Nye powder is what I'm setting my makeup with. It is my favorite one, but I have to tell you, I just tried the Laura Mercier setting powder and oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> so I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing to my eyes. I'm gonna use two of my favorite palettes and one is coming from Milani. The Bold Obsession palette. Start off with a very a light layer. And as you can see, I'm gonna do a sweeping circular motion going back and forth. So in order to blend, you wanna build the intensity up. You don't necessarily have to have a ton of product. You wanna start with less product and keep building it up until you see the color come through. The secret to having a great blend is making sure that your eyeshadow looks as if it's coming through your skin and not just sitting on top of your eye. I know that that sounds weird, but the more you practice on blending, you will get it, I promise. Sometimes people say, oh, I don't have time to do that. But if you, if this is the look that you want, then you have to take your time to get it.
get the color that you want and you're satisfied with how the blend looks, you need something to make sure that the color that you put on your lid is actually gonna stand out. So I'm gonna use another concealer and this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break it bronzing up the skin I'm not gonna contour my face because I don't want that really harsh look today I'm just gonna go in and bronze everything up so that I have a soft glow instead of a harsh you know cut out lines and things like that I really wanted to just have this effortless beauty today With my Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to highlight the top of my cheek. Hide it, but you had me from the get go. Let me be frank, I'm not that complicated. If you need me, what's the use of playing games? No, there's no denial. What we Just watch me break. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and spray my face down once I'm drenched in H2O. This is not setting spray. This is just pure water just to give it a dewy look. I wasn't sure about this color, but once I put it on, I was really surprised at the pigmentation of it and how beautiful it was. So yeah, this is going to work for this look. So about my hair, I did wand curl it and I also put in my flexi rods right after I wand curled it. To me it gives off a more volume and a longer lasting curls. I typically curl my hair on Sunday and it stays curled or somewhat of a wave throughout the week. I love this look and I love how it turned out. Not only me, my husband was in here admiring me. So it made me feel a very, very special. <laughs> Also, my daughter was taking pictures of me as well. I don't know why they felt like they needed to give me all that attention, <laughs> but I, I loved it. Um, it was fun having them all there watching me while I do my makeup. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you have not already, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.